Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here with a new Hyundai Kona N Performance and today in this video I will test drive the car and we will see how is to drive this new Hyundai Kona N Performance. First of all I want to tell you that I was really impressed when I see the car for the first time. I mean usually I'm not a big fan of Kona design but this new Kona N is just gorgeous. I mean they improve so much the car like it's another car. I like very much the the bumper in the front in the back the lines the shape the spoiler the rims look gorgeous on this and performance model is just lovely i mean i start to becoming a big fan of this kona n now guys before we go forward i want to tell you that i'm right here in switzerland at parisi automobile i will leave the link in the description if you want to test drive the car if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car uh, you can come at Parisi Automobile. Also, if you come and you tell them you come from me, you will get a nice discount. Now, let me give you the price first time, then I will give you the technical data and then we will start driving the car. So, first of all, I want to tell you that the car price start at 44,490 francs, but with the n lux package, you will have to pay 3,000 extra. Then you have also the electric uh, glass roof that you will see it in the review video. I will have a special separate video with this and performance model there you can see interior exterior space and all that information so click the subscribe button to see that video the notification when that video will come out and also for n special color you will have to pay again 750 and the total price of the car will be 48,990 francs the price is very good for what this kona n performance offer is just incredible guys i will give you a lot of information in this video so stay with me it's just crazy now that you see the price let's go forward let me give you the technical data let's go a little bit deep in technical stuff so the car come with a two liter tgdi petrol engine four cylinders 280 horsepower 392 newton meters also the car can do zero to 100 in 5.5 seconds the maximum speed 240 km per hour it's just incredible how fast this Kona N performance can go it's incredible and also I drive the car before it's incredible I mean the torque the acceleration is just crazy also the control but we will talk about that as we go also the car come with an 8 speed automatic transmission DCT wet dual clutch transmission it's a special transmission for this type of n performance car that hyundai implement going a little bit forward the car come with multi-link independent suspension on the rear in the front we have mcpherson independent suspension and also keep in mind that this car come with electronically adjustable suspension so depending on which driving mode you are the car will react accordingly the suspension will be stiffer or comfortable depend how you choice also the car come with 19 inch rims they look just lovely on the car you have to see it i will show you also in the full review video there you can see more information about every single detail about this kona and performance but they are super nice also the car come with ventilated brake discs in the front ventilated brake discs on the rear red brake calipers gorgeous brakes i mean they improve a lot the brakes as well going forward and i want to give you a few information that hyundai bring on this car they make it even more special special for sporty driving so for example it comes with n cornering carving differential so the electronically controlled mechanical limited slip differential elsd they call it regulate the power transmission to each front wheel it improves control and stability when cornering quickly so this is one of the extra that they bring to the car extra to this of course it's this automatic wet transmission with a speed it's ndct this is special also enable quick shifting you can select the gear manual if you want to i will show you also later as we drive then you have the traction control that you have different different choice here you can enable it hyundai also claim that it feels like an all-wheel drive so we have that deep snow snow mud and sand i will show you later how you can change these driving modes also it comes with high performance brake that i will show you in the other video and it comes also with n power sense axle so as it say here increase 
rigidity and reduce weight so the front axle send the driver quick and precise feedback which improve grip and make the driving experience more intuitive then one of my favorite things that hyundai bring it on the n performance model is the n track sense shift nts and that means this system select the right gear for optimal performance on the racetrack so you can focus on steering it recognize your driving style and activate itself automatically when you are driving on the racetrack so this is kind of intelligent system to know if you are on the track on the racetrack so it will change the shift depending on your driving style now going forward also the car come with nps that mean n power shift so the n power shift kick it as soon as the driver accelerate beyond 90 percent of the throttle position so if you press the acceleration more than 90 percent then the full torque is applied and the entire drive force is delivery to the wheel for a powerful thrust then the last one is the ngs ngs mean n green shift n green shift it's a button here on the steering wheel and that maximize the power of the entire drivetrain for 20 seconds all it takes it's a push of a button on the steering wheel and the vehicle shift directly into the most suitable gear for maximize acceleration and the last one as i said before electronically control its suspension so depending which driving mode you are the car can respond accordingly and also you have the launch control like the old uh, professional sporty car have the launch control prevent the wheel from spinning and ensure optimal traction when you have a sporty star so guys those are the most important things of course the car come with a lot of safety features and also great technology like multimedia and all that stuff but about that we will talk about in the review video now guys let's drive the car and as we go in the video i will explain you more and i will show you different things so yeah let's drive it guys all right guys let's drive this kona and performance by the way here is the key guys a simple nice key nothing crazy just the n logo here on the side beautiful anyway what you can do with the key lock and unlock the car it comes with keyless entries uh, also electric folding mirrors but we are not here for that by the way the car come also with aluminum pedals N line logo here at the entrance and it comes also with this beautiful N uh, line seat leather it combination with somehow Alcantara in the middle not sure if it's Alcantara but they, they are lovely I mean the side support electric adjustable incredible seat also I noticed that the doors have very good quality when you close them you can hear the quality of the doors also very good sound insulation inside the car great visibility on the mirrors uh, on the side even up here you have a very good visibility in the back mirror i like it very much to be honest uh, also the car come with a glass roof right here and also you can open this up if you want to but anyway the steering wheel the classic steering wheel from hyundai for the n performance lovely steering wheel the grip the leather the way it feels is just incredible as good as you have on mercedes for example uh the performance sporty cars anyway gorgeous also you have those buttons right here i will explain you right now let's start the engine first of all uh the car come with the manual handbrake keep in mind also i like very much these blue stitches and signature that you have it on the seats and also on the steering wheel press the brake press the start uh, engine button also the car come with a head-up display guys by the way look lovely there you have a lot of information on the head-up display and also when you go in n mode for example in race mode you can see that the head-up display is changing i don't know if you can see it so well but it's changing in a sport mode now what you can do with the steering wheel uh, you have the pedals behind the steering wheel you can change the gear manually if you want if you want to have some fun you have here the transmission 8 speed dsg also you have heated seats ventilated seats uh, the camera reverse camera by the way the car come with a very good quality reverse camera and also you have here this wheel that you can change different driving mode uh, eco normal sport mode and then you have that snow deep snow mud and sand mode so that's awesome uh, how many 
options you have on the car then simple guys you have this end button right here where you can change also the different driving modes you have free driving modes right here sport tech or normal we will try all and then you have another end right here what you can do with this end when you press this end mode here on the steering wheel it will get you to the proper end and you can see down there you can see the engine it's a maximum sport steering wheel uh, also maximum sport and suspension it's very very tight and also the uh, traction control is in sport mode you can see a lot of information like oil temperature engine temperature here on the side you can see the, the g meter the tire pressure and all kind of information for sporty driving and if you press one more time on the same button you will go in custom one custom one mean that if you go right here in custom one you can customize the way you want suspension engine sport plus normal sport or sport plus steering wheel the same normal sport or sport plus suspension sport normal and sport plus transmission the same thing you can change uh, the way you want it head up display as well uh, exhaust sound uh, then you have the traction control and then you have the ELSD that I told you I explained you in the beginning performance option here on the performance option you have the launch control you have the shift light you have uh, the auto creep you have the end power shift that I explained you before you have the end track sense shift and end road sense and all that things I just explained you before we start the video so it's just incredible I mean in terms of how many customizable things you have here on the driver screen is just incredible how many customizable things you have here and also the the lovely lovely cockpit is just incredible anyway the sound is just crazy incredible guys anyway let's go to echo mode let's drive in echo mode and then as we go we will talk about all driving modes so first of all very nice tall driving position great great position on those seats i love the seats to be honest i really really like them they are super comfy and also you have this side support so you have a great grip it grip your body perfectly right there we are in in uh, echo mode right now in echo mode because the suspension are also electronically adjustable we have the suspension in comfort mode so they are comfortable right now we get those bumps they feel quite good but immediately I noticed that the steering wheel and also the suspension the way it feels on the road it feels in a sporty way so that's something to keep in mind it's not that comfort crazy that you you will have on the normal Kona it feels quite sporty you know you are in a sporty car immediately when you when you put your hand on the steering wheel oh yeah I already can feel how good the car it stays on the road it's silent right now in echo mode it's quite silent it's like you have a normal 200 meters turn left and then right you have like a normal yeah let me cancel this stop guidance okay great let's go back let's turn on the climatic system for example let's go back to end mode also the car of course come with cruise control you can set the speed from here you have also the lane assist and this new autopilot from um, from Hyundai so you can set the speed to 50 the car will keep the distance will brake it comes with automatic um, emergency brake also uh, this cruise control from Hyundai can keep the distance for you a lot of nice infos here on the screen as well great visibility on this mirror great grip on the steering wheel guys ah by the way first of all i want to show you the the lane assist and smart cruise control from hyundai and i trust it i tested before and it's very very good look at this guys i mean it stay really good on the road it says keep your hands on the steering wheel you can for the safety I really recommend you to have always the hands on the steering wheel and then you can see the car can keep between the lanes without any problem this system it's just 
super good on the highway uh, it take off your stress it's it's a very good system one of the best on the market uh, today guys I tell you it's really really good also I noticed that the car stay very good on the curves when I drive it before it's it feels really good it feels like a heavy sporty car really good grip on the road I love it I love the grip it's very good also again right now the car will keep the distance and will keep the uh, the lane all you have to do is just activate it just like that and now the car will keep the distance and also you can see here on the curve that the car will keep the steering wheel and it's keeping really good between the lanes it doesn't bounce as I see in on the other cars I know Hyundai have worked a lot of this system look at this it's just wow I mean it's very good I will deactivate it for a second because I want to drive the car so just keep in mind that they have a very good cruise control system with lane assist so the autopilot level 2 in this Hyundai the last is this Hyundai that come with this system they are really good so that's something to point out I want to point out in this test drive I know I drive it slow until now I try to heat up the engine a little bit before I change the driving mode but yeah let's change the driving mode from here you go in normal mode uh, and normal mode I can see that I tested before as well and I know that the steering wheel it's very similar uh, and the suspension are also very similar with the echo mode it's just that the acceleration it's a little bit more aggressive that's something to keep in mind and if you go in sport mode you will have a little bit more sportiness also the head-up display I don't know if you can see it it goes in sport mode so you can see right there a little bit of more sporty display and graphics and also of course the car it's more responsive 280 horsepower 392 newton meters so for example if you want to accelerate you have that power immediately I mean the grip it's incredible and if you use the launch control it will help you not slip uh, with your road and you have a great grip I tell you also the steering wheel it's a little bit more stiffer right now in sport mode I already can feel that but the grip on the road the handlings are impressive uh, so Hyundai put a lot of work in this system in this sporty driving the exhaust it's it's more aggressive I already can hear it behind there wow I mean love the sound the brakes are great as well um, ventilated brake disc in the front in the back is just wow I mean and I love the sound the way the way it is the sound is just crazy here on the roundabout oh my god it stays so good on the road oh yeah man it's, wow you have such a good grip guys it's just incredible incredible grip I tell you and then if you press this N here I press it right now you are in a race mode kind of a race track mode and when you accelerate right now oh, oh my god this is a proper car guys this is what you need this is what you need I tell you Holy. wow I mean great job great job Hyundai oh man you have to try this car I tell you guys you have to try it you have to try this car oh my god you never you never you never you never think that Hyundai can do such a good sporty cars I was never think about that I mean oh wow it feels much powerful than 280 horsepower I don't know why the gear shifter it's incredible this 8 speed D um, a wet transmission it's just wow I mean it's it's lovely man and it stay wow and now I can feel already when you take a bump you really feel that bump you are like 
you are on the track you get a few bumps now and it's very big difference between normal mode and sport mode wow wow it's so stiff i can't believe it's just the difference between normal mode echo mode and sport mode and track it's the suspension are incredible stiffer wow i can't believe it's it's wonderful it's it's incredible that's a proper sporty car i mean it's it's wow the visibility on the head-up display it's great i wish the head-up display was directly on the windscreen i think it was better but it's okay visibility it's great uh in the mirrors also here on the new multimedia system from hyundai it's gorgeous and the sound it's phenomenal where is this launch control i think it's here activate the launch control and right now lovely lovely Also guys you're probably wondering what is this red button right here and this red button give you the power for 20 seconds for example if you press it you have 20 second and green shift power so you have maximum power for 20 seconds you just press this one right here it's very simple it's lovely the sound the grip it's a lovely car I just really love the way it drives it's a proper sporty car I have to say I'm really impressed with what Hyundai did with this N-Line incredible also great great steering it's so precise it's so direct give you that feedback directly in the steering wheel I tell you even the suspension are so close to the road so stiffer also I want to show you right here you have a reverse camera so if you go in air you have a reverse camera very good resolution also on the reverse camera so you can park the car very easy you have a lot of sensors that warn you when you go uh, backwards you have sensors in the front sensors in the back a lot of safety features all the safety features that Hyundai use it you have it right here in this end performance corner drives lovely guys I tell you it's incredible I think so many people will buy this car uh, guys if you are on the market for a cross SUV sporty cross SUV this is the one for you I tell you guys you have to you have to try this car you have to try this Kona and performance is just incredible Wow, the way it stays on the road is just lovely, man. Wow, this is a proper sporty car. Crazy.
brakes are awesome. You can hear. The way it's downshifting is just crazy as well. It's it's so good this transmission, it's so so good. Great job Hyundai. Love the car. The sound, the the direction, the handling, the suspensions, the position of driving, the steering wheel, everything is just crazy. It's lovely. I, I never believe it will be so good, I tell you. I never thought that I would like so much this Kona end. Guys, I think this video answer you some of your question about this Kona and performance. It's wow, I mean, make me happy, make my day, make my day better. And again, 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 Hyundai, show me. That knows how to do these cars. Sporty car, electric car, hybrid, whatever. They know how to do it. They do it in a big way, I tell you. They do those cars in a big way crazy way it's lovely man it's crazy lovely I love it I tell you I love the car and when you want to drive in normal mode you just press this one go to normal or echo mode and then the steering wheel will be much more lighter let's park it here let's end up this video going in reverse super easy to park it you have the parking sensors you have those lines to guide you back in a place parking and then that's it guys wow i mean this car made me happy today ah i love it great 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 job hyundai i really love it now guys i hope you get some useful information from this video i hope you make an idea about how is the car also if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want i answer to all of you guys so you can uh, write me down in the comments also guys my rating for this new hyundai kona n performance from 1 to 10 will be 9.8 taking into consideration the price, the performance, the steering wheel, the handling, acceleration, suspension, all that uh, crazy technical stuff and safety features, cruise control, autopilot, ventilated seat, heated seat, heated steering wheel. Yeah, it totally deserved that. I mean, it totally deserved 9.8 love the car and guys if you are on the market for a sporty cross suv as i said before this is the one for you for sure it's just wow i mean i really really love it so i guess that was the video guys i will leave the link in the description to parisi automobile if you want to see the car if you want to test drive if you want to buy the car just don't hesitate to contact them i will leave the link in the description also tell them you see my video you come from me and you will get a nice discount again thank you to all of you that watching my video i really appreciate that guys so thank you very much also if you like it give me a like a share also subscribe to see the full review with the same car you will love it interior exterior all the information about the car you will find it in a separate video the multimedia system i have also a video with this multimedia system so check it out also don't forget to check out our website sdadancar.com there you find a lot of information about cars video reviews tips about cars and stuff like that and yeah i guess that was the video guys thank you for watching again stay safe stay healthy and see you soon guys bye